talk about the La Sportiva Wildcat Low Trail Running Shoes. They cost about 110 to 130 depending on who's trying to rip you off that day. Now, here's how you know this reviewer is not full of shit, at least not on this occasion. I bought a second pair. What kind of moron would buy a second pair of shoes that hurt his feet the first time? I love these things. Now how do I use them? Not for running, because running sucks. And I don't understand people who run. Just kidding. It, it's not my thing. I've used them to hike Long's Peak, hike Half Dome, and then use them as daily hikers up in the hills around the house. That's more like a one to two mile hike. Neither of those trips have I had any blisters. In fact, on the Half Dome hike, I literally tried them on at the store and then laced them up for the hike that day. Now my more experienced hiking partner was a little skeptical. Rule number seven, never hike in a brand new pair of shoes. Oh boy. You're gonna get blisters. No way, these are La Sportivas. They don't give blisters. Plus, I got some moleskins. So I'm covered. Guess who needed the moleskins? One clue, not me. Like I said, I literally laced them up the first time for Half Dome, which is 18 miles round trip and 11 hours with a little bit of technical terrain. Not a whole bunch, but a little. Now one of the things I like about the Wildcats is that you get really good traction and cushioning. If you look at the bottoms, they're a little softer than other types of shoes, which means they'll wear out a little bit quicker over time, but having that traction and that cushioning is a huge deal on hikes of this length. If you can see this, if you look at the bottom, one of the knobbies ripped off a little bit which I'm totally fine with. If you've ever seen the section of Half Dome we are using the cables, it's a five or 600 foot, 45 degree pitch, vertical hike up and down. You want all the traction you can get. I'm guessing that's where that knobby uh, got cut off a little bit, keeping the traction, because that face is very slick at this point after thousands and thousands of hikers. Very glad I had that type of traction. Long's Peak was nearly as long, I think it was 14 miles and 12 hours worth of hiking with the boulder field and, and a little bit more technical type of terrain. Never slipped, never got a blister. Have truly loved these shoes. They've been great for this type of hiking. One of the other features I really like with this shoe is that reinforced plastic piece over the toe. When you get into things like the boulder field and other more slippery technical type stuff, you want that toe protected because you will bang it up against the rock quite a bit. That's a, that's a huge feature for me on this shoe. Now this shoe tends to run about a size too big. I would typically wear a, a 10 and a half or an 11. Both of these are a 12. So they do run about a size too big. Um, so take that into account. Now make sure that you get a good hiking sock. For both of these long trips, I've used Darn Tough. Be honest I just bought the socks because the name made me laugh darn tough but they are darn good so make sure you get a nice cushion sock uh, along with these wildcats I think your feet will be feeling pretty good for these long style hikes so that's it get out there and hike uh, talk to you soon <laughs>